Welcome to Cash Grab, the podcast where we go through different franchises that have been turned into video games and decide, are they cash grabs or are they not? I'm Steph. I'm Adam. And I'm Tom. Woo! Woo! We're in an odd mood today. Yeah, we are. I don't know what's going on. I think we're all very hungry. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Yeah, blame it on hunger, Steph. Always. It's definitely not a mental health issue, is it? <laughs> Let's <laughs> it might be honest. Be a slight <laughs> mental health issue. But no, it's not, as I'm hungry. It's, so is Adam. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm talking Adam quite right in it as well. Adam's going down with me. It's almost like a physical <laughs> schizophrenia you've got going on. You're planting all your own insecurities onto Adam. That's just might, not fair. Adam, you know what? Adam might actually be both of our imaginary friends. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? We put the video out and we get comments going, why do you talk to Adam when he doesn't Yeah, it's just, it's, just like, it's just like your 20th episode was really good. You, Dan and Tom were really funny. Like, what it's about Adam? Because he probably says yeah. that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> In fairness, I had such an issue with the last episode because your sleeve keeps coming up. I know, the whole yeah. thing. That's why I've gone for long sleeves today. But the... Okay, so my sleeves do it this time to annoy Tom. No, oh, don't. Be because funny. honestly, it's, I've realised just how fucking autistic my mind can be with short things. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> because I, I've watched the episode like a couple times or just like snippets of it. Yeah. And every single time, like. I can't stop looking at your fucking arm and I'm just like, oh, I wish you'd pull his fucking sleeve down. And then and then an hour into the video, I'm like, would you put your sleeve down? <laughs> Even during the podcast. You told him getting... It's not my fault. Oh, sorry. It's your t-shirt's fault. Yeah. Though. I know. Dick. But anyway, guys, how we been? How we doing? Good. Good. We're missing well, Dan. That fucking that Dan's out. not Listen. here. Yeah, poor Dan. Should I speak for Dan? Yeah, you speak for Dan. Good. 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 <laughs> that was really, really yeah, good. Well done. Was it really good? <laughs> <laughs> the audio listeners will think he's here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Uh, if you are an audio listener on SoundCloud or iTunes, jump get over to fucking... YouTube so you can get get, so a, you can get, get, get a fucking YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so have we been up to anything this week? Have you been playing anything? I have. Oh fuck! What's this gonna be? <laughs> right. <laughs> have you ever heard I of downloaded... Legend Suit Larry? <laughs> oh, that's a fucking brilliant game, but it wasn't <laughs> Legend Suit Larry. Larry, <laughs> have you ever heard it, of it was... the Hunter Call of the Wild? No. Oh, actually, no. I think oh, I told Adam, we watched the, we vid- watched I watched the video. video. It's all about hunting. Wait, it? well, yeah, think, as I'm, the name yeah, suggests, we watched. It. I watched the video it for it. It looks bad. No, the thing is, it's not. It's the most beautiful game I've ever played, and it's basically imagine Firewatch, but a million times more beautiful. The <laughs> graphics you're, you're... are better, and then you just wander better around a field. So much better. Yeah? Yeah, it's when gorgeous, did this game come gorgeous. Out? Uh, a few a few months ago, two months ago, something like that. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and, okay, the premise is you're hunting animals, but take that out of the equation. Yeah, but to be fair, far but, cry and that you're killing animals. Exactly. Well, yeah, but that also take has that another objective. The... Does the hunter no, have the another objective? No, it doesn't have another objective. You, there, there, are, there are objectives... Um, so you might kill bear, you know, like kill go, deer, go kill, take photographs. kill man, kill wife. <laughs> it's like go take photographs. It's, it's almost like Pokemon, but in like the real world. Like go take Pokemon po- Snap. Yeah, Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was Pokemon in the real world. I'll give you that. Yeah. Pokemon Go. That is yeah. true. It is. Right, well, it's not like that. <laughs> I love if Adam was like, oh, wait, I've been that's, playing that's Pokemon Go. Right. So, so it's so, like Pokemon Snap, but you also have a gun. Yeah, you and also you have a gun the Pokemon. And, you, and you murder the Pokemon. That sounds fun. That actually really does sound good. fun. It is really good. And yeah. it's just peaceful. Is, like, it, is it more just taking in the environment? Taking in the environment and then every so often shooting a deer. <laughs> as, you, as you do, yeah. <laughs> My dear wife. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. But, it, yeah, it really is just really nice just to walk around and... I it's get just, that because I actually I'm getting more and more fond of slower paced games. Yeah. So I, I get where you're coming from. I mean, it is yeah. fucking slow. You can walk around for a, an hour and not see a single animal. Well, well when when your objective well. is to kill said animal, it yeah. Kind but of... Again, it's okay. They're your objectives, but it's not why you play the game. I spend quite a lot of the time much just like, like life wandering around looking at the trees M- much like life Dan would love this game Dan sounds like, like <laughs> are there any windows for Dan to look out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. oh I haven't told Adam about this so remember on our first episode so for you watching uh, episode 19 uh, was the first episode we attempted a camera and uh, I fucked it up so we only got 17 <laughs> minutes of footage uh, yeah. um, <laughs> so we did a technical difficulty, uh, difficulties thing and Steph did some fucking awesome editing props to Steph Everyone. I mean, I wouldn't say awesome. I'd say fairly amateur. But I'm well, happy I, I was. <laughs> I was going to say we should do a twenty-minute silence. For? For, for? for 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 them to get just the right amount of applause out for you. Twenty minutes. <laughs> well, I, I feel what, like it's twenty-five. But oh, well, right, I was going to go fine. half an hour, but then I thought that was a bit too generous. Okay, we'll meet. Well, we'll meet in the middle. 
That's perfect. true. Perfect. Anyway, go on. We'll carry on your technical difficulties thing. So basically, my brother actually had an idea because he watched the episode and he said, oh, you know, because Dan was having his talk beforehand about being existential and looking out windows or looking yeah. at his reflection a lot. So we're deciding that our new technical difficulties might just be a picture, <laughs> picture of Dan, Dan looking, looking out, out a window. window with like raindrops on the window. In black and, and white. Oh. Yeah, in black and white. Uh, we haven't uh, <laughs> we haven't, approached we haven't, this to Dan. Kermit no. meme. Yeah, the Kermit meme. So yes, the Kermit, Kermit meme. Yeah, yeah. Steph sent it to me. Yeah, <laughs> right, so we're, right. we're going to try and try and implement that a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So for, for you good. watching, when we do that in future, you'll have to link back to episode 17 so you actually get the fucking reference. Yeah, yeah, so you understand <laughs> it. It's a good way of getting them back yeah, good, to Good episode. plug well in there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Epis- oh, no, it wasn't episode 17. It was 19. 19. 19, there you go. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I've been playing Wolfenstein The New Order. Yes, oh, you yeah. started it when we last spoke. How, yeah. how are you finding it? I'm really enjoying it. The audio mix is fucked, but apart from that, really enjoying it. Yeah, you had an issue with that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, I think it's mixing surround sound, but obviously coming out of a 2.0 system don't work. Isn't that a Bethesda thing? Don't they do that a bit? I think there's been a few problems with it, yeah. Mm. But it's it's sweet in the headphones, so um, yeah, I'm really it's enjoying right. it, actually. Uh, it's different. Yeah. yeah. The music's very similar to Doom, which kind of throws me off. Cause like the, do really? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like the heavy like metal heavy... music. Yeah, so really? like you're, you're killing the Nazis, and then there's <laughs> like heavy metal music, and I kind of expect Doom to kick in because I played Doom so recently. Mm. I've so... got, I've got a question. Okay. If you were going to be killing Nazis, right, yeah. hordes of them, yeah. what music would you want playing in your ears? I, I'm, I'd say something like a a Bach symphony. That's kind of like the line that's going that's on. Re- yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking like something. Really mono- m- melodic. That's quite smooth. Yes. Yeah, See, really th- this peaceful. is it because that's exactly what I was thinking. Because you're doing the right thing, aren't you? Yeah, I had a feeling you two would be on the same wavelength. Although it's quite a fun terms of heavy metal music, yeah. like Mastodon, you'd you'd feel like you'd get well Sorry. into it. Sorry, I get burped. He's getting the burp I'm a, out I'm early. A, I'm a nervous burp. <laughs> the podcast burp. It's every time. Yeah, like I Mastodon could go pretty well to Nazi killing. Yeah, yeah, Mastodon could. But also, if they played like, if they did like, you know that band that. Well, they're not a band. They're like a four, like a quartet that did like just Metallica songs. Oh, the cello. Apocalypt- the, uh, Apocalyptica. 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 Yeah, if you if you had like Mastodon songs in a string quartet, that That'd would be, be the pretty best good. thing for that killing would be Nazis. Great, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I, Iron Tusk on a cello. Yes. Done. Perfect. March of the Fire Ants. Great. Oh, oh fucking yeah. hell. Yeah. The most brutal song ever made. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so playing that, I'm towards the end now. Yes. So I'm going to... How long is it, just out of curiosity? Uh, not too, like 16 chapters. Um, that sounds long. Probably like 10, 15 hours. Nice amount for that's, you. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm playing right. on the hardest difficulty. Good because man. Because that's for the trophy. Good man. So I'm going to platinum this. Good man. Then I've got my new toy. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, announcement. I've, I've, I've done it and I've bought a Switch. He fucking done it. I've done it. We've, we've received this news just a bit before you're receiving this news. So we got this fucking text about yeah. an hour or just two before ago. I came here. I was Pretty came, excited came text, in, to be yeah. fair. <laughs> came in, saw my little package from Amazon. It's always exciting, even though you just bought it. So I knew it was yeah. in it. And I, opened it up. I was more excited because I ordered three things. I ordered the Switch itself. Yes. I ordered a case. Yes. And oh. I ordered Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Yeah. Right? And I was impressed that Amazon put it all in one box rather than oh, well, three different boxes. That's... Well done. Oh, no, they fucking never hell. fucking do that shit. No. They never fucking no, do that I shit. I got a bucket delivered from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and no word of a lie for, for anyone watching rather than listening. It came a up bucket. to here. Like it's a, we're talking about four foot. A box. That is a, a good box, four foot. A four bucket. foot box. No, 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 no. That wasn't the bucket. That was the box. Oh. The bucket was about a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Yeah. That's a bit wasteful. It's it? crazy, isn't it? So Why I was, I was quite impressed. Give you a bucket. I mean, nobody's they particularly. Could just deliver the bucket, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody's really bothered yeah, when I their bucket care, gets yeah. a bit damaged exactly. or like gets a scratch on it. Who's going to turn a bucket into one of those, those, those flexi cracked. boxes? Oh right, they don't get broken. Boxes, no. flexi boxes, bucket, <laughs> flexi that? bucket, <laughs> flexi bucket. Yeah. No, the, the bucket, oh, right, the bucket was made out of cardboard, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the box was flexi as fuck. That's what matters. Yeah, but yeah, so I've got my switch. So I'm gonna. My plan was I wanted to switch for Mario Odyssey came out because obviously that's gonna be great. Yes. Um. So. I what so I bought a switch just in case uh, sales go up through the roof again and there's no switches about, which is uh, looking to be quite Highly inevitable. Likely, yeah. So yeah, Nintendo have ramped up their production, but we'll see what happens. So I've I've preempted it and bought it. Well done, Steph. So next you're ahead time of the we'll, stock market. We'll hear all about ahead it. The curve. Yeah, you'll hear all about it next time. Exciting. Yeah. How about you, Tom? Anything you've been? Gwent. Oh no, not right. Gwent again. No, all right. Okay. So I've been a bit. <laughs> 
fucking gone crazy. It's Dragon Age Inquisition again. <laughs> no, no, it's even worse. Okay, so I was thinking to myself, I got really stuck on Gwent, and I was like, oh, I can't, I can't keep doing this. I'm getting fucking irate. I'm losing all the time. I couldn't do anything. I'm shit at it. And I've realised just how shit at it I am when I play real people. Then go back to Witcher 3 and play Gwent there. Okay, I did a bit. <clears throat> and then I was like, it's a bit easy. And I was like, and I've played The Witcher 3 Can't for like 100, 140 <laughs> hours now. And I'm like, oh, I need a break. I need something new to play. And I was like, I did get a free copy of The Witcher 1 <laughs> Enhanced Edition. I might load that up. So I played eight hours of that. And then I was like... Oh, because you can only play it with a mouse and keyboard. There's no controller support. Right. So I was like, oh my God. If I play The Witcher 3 with a mouse and keyboard, it'll be like playing a whole new game. So I'm playing The Witcher 3 oh. again with mouse and keyboard instead of a controller. What is wrong with this child? What is... Oh. You've got... The thing is, I don't, you've got so many games yeah. out there. I love it. I think he's just got a yeah, really yeah, addictive good. personality. Yeah, he you has. You can't yeah. wean yourself. You've got to wean yourself off it. No, I'm not good at that. I'm a cold turkey sort of type. Like, I'm not smoking at the moment, if you haven't noticed. Well done. I'm, I'm doing... Look at the air. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing here. <laughs> there used to be a fog. But yeah, like, it's a permanent fog. No, because I'm doing us. my old technique, which I stopped smoking a few years ago. Sure. Just like six to eight months or something, like quite a long time. And I did it. Every time I got an urge, I did. It. I went jogging. So you started jogging? Mm-hmm. That's why you look so felt. I've only been doing it a couple of days, so yeah. I hope it's not You're looking good, mate. Thanks, guys. Thanks. So, uh, yeah. anyway, should so, we get into the episode? Yeah, let's do let's, it. Let's do it. Okay. So, today's episode is Toy Story. Yay! And everyone should be happy to hear that, because everyone loves Toy Story. Yeah. Adult, yeah. child, and tween. Medium. Medium. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Original. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we decided to do Toy Story. Yeah. Yes. So, um, we, well... We've all seen, we Toy seen, Story. seen <laughs> Toy Story before. Yeah, we've seen Countless Toy Story. Countless times. And I'm guessing yeah. anyone who is watching this right now has, seen Toy, has Story. seen Toy Story. If you haven't seen Toy Story, I'll give you permission to stop watching, watch it, then come back to us. It's a good thing you gave them permission there, Steve. Yeah, I had to give them permission. <laughs> I, I love the Otherwise, point. they're locked in. I, no, but it, I have to admit, it's on the condition that they come back. You know? yeah. yeah, no, no. Yeah. They like, have to come it, it wasn't out of the kindness of its heart. It was <laughs> a subtle threat. Yeah. Yeah. They you have know? to come back. <laughs> okay. And That's if good. they've already seen it, they have to keep watching. And you have to say, uh, put a comment in saying, I watched it, Steph. Thanks for giving me permission to leave. Um, <laughs> Go and buy Toy Story yeah. 3. Watch it. Toy Story 3? Toy is, Story is, is 1. This, is, this <laughs> is this them talking to you still? Yeah. Okay. I went and bought Toy Story 1, watched it, yep. I've come back. Yep. And I'm back they most likely it. just streamed it online. Yeah. Illegally. No one's well, going to go out and naughty. buy Toy Story 1. Yeah, you know, Disney Life, that's a thing you could pay for. What's Disney Life? It's Disney's own streaming service. Oh, it sounds more that's like fucking ridiculous. It sounds more like a charge I against make it. adults. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? If they've been a bit bad towards children, you're Get getting Disney sentenced Life. to Disney you're Life. Disney Disney Life. Life. Yeah, exactly. They just put a clown in, like Mickey Mouse ears on them and just <laughs> chuck them. <laughs> chuck them in a cell. You're going to rot in there, mouse. <laughs> mouse. <laughs> oh, Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it was a half one. It was a half one. Just a little bleep. Yeah, just a little, bleep. <laughs> yeah, just a little beep. Only a small bleep for me to sort out. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't guess what word I said. Write it in the comments. <laughs> the only word we don't bleep, or the only word we bleep. <laughs> Cup. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, so Toy Story so, 1. So, yeah. um, yes. Tell right. us a little bit about Toy Story 1. <laughs> when did it come out? Toy Story 1 came out November 22nd, 1995. So this film is, uh, at the time of recording, just edging on 22 years old. I was three. I was three. You were four. <laughs> I had to work it out. I was four. Ooh. I was four years of age. Good year. Good. 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 Times. Good. 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 Um, Good. Much better than three. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I should really pick my fights better <laughs> <laughs> to <Yeah>. against one. <laughs> and it's about eight. Gonna get, over, yeah. gonna get overpowered. Well. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. so it was released uh, 22 years ago, basically, now. So, fucking hell, time went quick. Yeah. As a first off. Um, you uh, discovered this, Adam. Not You're not the first to discover this. <laughs> <laughs> but I will take the credit. <laughs> but but yeah. this was Pixar's first uh, full feature release. It was. Very cool. Yes. So, did. I could tell you a little bit about that. So... Pixar originally a computer company, and they used to make short little anim- uh, animations, <laughs> animations, <laughs> animations uh, in order to sell their computers. <laughs> Disney picked up on these little animations and asked them to make a 
feature length movie, which is where that's this really comes cool. from. That's really cool. I didn't actually know that. I came no. up with. Um, okay, sorry. Go on. So that's why they still do little short clips at the beginning of some films and cinemas and yeah. stuff. Ah, cool. I came up with another one of my bad ideas the other night. Oh, you know, I have my business ideas and my movie ideas and stuff. Okay. Like, uh, <laughs> what was it? Van? Gram? Grandpire. Grandpire. The Grandpa Vampire. Grandpire. And, and Gang Babies. <laughs> gang Babies. And Lego Mollus. Lego Mollus. I've got lots of shit in the pan. I'm just... <laughs> in the pan. I'm just, pan I'm just turning the, I'm yeah. just turning that heat up and watching it boil into a... Watching it burn. Into watching it burn. <laughs> but, um, okay. So, I thought, like, what sells... Sex. sex. Well, exactly. It. Sex always sells. What well, also sells? Japanese schoolgirls. Oh, for fuck's so sake. So I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing... Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> amateur, <laughs> amateur drawings that I'm going to sell to people with no girlfriends. And they're basically just draw, bad drawings of Japanese schoolgirls in precarious positions. And I'm going to call it anime shuns. Hey, anime shuns. I don't endorse this at no. all. If you want to invest in <laughs> animations, don't invest in animations. Please, please write an email to Cash Grab under Steph. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the like email subject. Uh, just my name, Steph. Steph, and then just uh, Cash Grab Podcast at Gmail dot com. He'll, he'll, I'll get it. <laughs> I'm Tom. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I've got another business. Right, idea. so Toy Story, the film. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Steph. Yeah. No, no problems. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> right, yeah, so. Yeah, film kicks off. It does. And we're introduced. Like most films. Yes, it starts. <laughs> it starts. It's a bit different. <laughs> it has a start, a middle, and an end. Yep. Uh-huh. But it starts up, and uh, you've got Andy playing with the, playing with the toys. Yes. And he's setting up like a little uh, bank robbery. And there's quite a lot of like different toys in there. Was it uh, Mr. Potato Head who's the Mist- he's the villain? Robber. Okay, yeah, he was a villain of the beast. Yeah, and um, so you got Woody who's like that's eBay. <laughs> Tom, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's on. got an eBay notification. It's, it's an email. No, no, no. Uh, um... Have you sold something? Have you bought something? It's one of his drawings. The... <laughs> <laughs> I've got a buyer. Hang on, we'll do this again. That That's poor little good. drum. Good well done. Okay. So yeah, Andy's playing with his toys. Yes, yeah, so he's playing with his toys, and then he's got... No. So he's got... But is Woody... <laughs> Woody's a new character for this, isn't he? Like, Woody and Buzz were all new characters. <laughs> <laughs> you love Are you still Woody? thinking because it's sex toy? <laughs> That's a brilliant name. Yeah, but so is Buzz. Toy. How did you not? Woody or Buzz? Because Buzz, Buzz is, is like a rampant brilliant. rabbit, yeah. and Woody's like a fucking huge. Have you not seen that picture when it's like when Andy's toys met Andy's mum's toys, and it's like it's like, <laughs> it's like a dildo and a rampant rabbit going. Hi, I'm Woody. I'm Buzz. Uh, it's not Woody and Buzz looking all confused. Have you seen that? No, that's brilliant. Then I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. I love anyway, we had to watch like <laughs> loads of the movie, and Adam was just like totally oblivious. <laughs> and then as soon as he stopped watching the movie, he's like, "Oh my god, they sound like sex toys." <laughs> <laughs> all right, so go on. Steph. So back to the film. Innocent film. A nice innocent film. Yeah. Right. So you've got Woody, who's mm-hmm. trying to take down Mr. Potato Head. Yes. But Mr. Potato Head has captured Little Bo Peep. Yep. Yes. And then he gets a slinky dog as a force field. Was it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. yeah, yeah. The yeah. thing is, it shows yeah. like a lot of kids' imagination. Do you know what I mean? Because like, if, if an adult walked in and saw those toys, or an adult saw it, it's like the Lego movie. Like, yes. The Lego movie does a good job of showing like when you're a kid, you have all this imagination. When you're older, you just want to put on your suit and tie and go to work yeah. and come back. And how true is that, eh? Very it true. It was a fucking statement. Yeah. The Little Prince. You're welcome. What's that? Is that another one of Andy's sex toys? Yeah. <laughs> I no, thought Mr. Potato Head no, could be Little one Prince as well. Is a, is a story a really about bulbous... that, how adults lose their imagination when they get older. But it's true. Ah, but they go, don't. Yeah. I don't think adults do. I think some adults just choose to switch off. I don't think you actually just lose everything. Like I think you, you keep your imagination. I think well, of course you I keep your imagination. Yeah, no, but it I just gets darker I think you and suppress darker it. and yeah. darker until you end up as Tom. <laughs> oh, hey, that's pretty dark. <laughs> it's not dark. I've got a very light side of my personality as well. It just doesn't. Come it just, it really. just yeah. so <laughs> happens it's overpowered, it's by, it's overshadowed <laughs> by all the bloody dark. <laughs> exactly. So um, yeah, so uh, yeah. So yeah, it does a good job of showing like the kids' imagination. She's got all the different voices for the characters. Yes. 
And then, uh, but the thing is, the scene, like, they start off quite well with the little scene they're building up. But then, like, very quickly, like, Rex comes into it. He takes down the force field, and then Mr. Potato Head's in, in jail. Like, do, do you know what I mean? Like, it builds yeah. up really well. Like, he's got a little bank and everything. He's drawn on cardboard. Like, he set the scene. Yeah. It's, it's clear, like, like the Sims, right? So, you know, when, when you play the Sims, you build a house. You spend ages furnishing it and all that. When you move the people in, you just kill them because you're bored. You just, you just like, box instantly. them in with the walls. So that's let what it felt like. themselves to death. Yeah. So, yeah. it felt like he built up the scenery and the characters and everything. Got well into it. And then by the time he started playing, he was like, oh, you're not on board now. Yeah, but like, kids do that This all dinosaur the time. can take that out the force field, yeah. get in jail. That is true. Uh, kids yeah. do, do have relatively short attention. One thing I did true, notice true. about that, so the jail is his little sister's cot, obviously because it's got the bars, and his yes. little sister's in there and she ends up munching on Mr. Potato Head. But her cot isn't actually in his room for the rest of the movie. No. And also, why would the cot be in there in the first place? Because we had a look at their house from the outside, and it's significant in size. So and yeah, from what I can tell, house. there's only Andy and Mama and baby Andy Mama there. Baby, baby Andy, Andy Mama. <laughs> I forgot her name. The little one, the baby, the one that has the cot. Does she have a name? Uh, yeah, she must have a name. Sin- well, I mean, she Sin- has a name, but did they say the name? Sin- 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 well, no, they, they I, don't, I don't think we did hear the name. Bella. Luke. Yeah. Luke. I think we do hear the name later on, but not in the half an hour that we watched. Oh, so, I yeah. was going to give it a little Google. So, basically, yeah. right... Um, what you're saying about setting the scene, what's really fucking clever about it, just setting the scene, because obviously this being Pixar's like Time to Shine, being the first feature yes. film, yep. what's fucking amazing about this scene is that for kids that are going to be watching it, they're going to instantly relate to Andy and the toys yep. all as fucking characters, individuals, whatever, because like every single kid's doing that same thing. Every yeah, single yeah. kid's playing. Every single adult is going to relate because they're going to be like, shit, do you remember when we did that? Yeah, I used to. You know, yeah, yeah. like it just relates to you on a human level, no matter like what age you are, no matter who you are, you relate to it. Yeah. It's fucking clever. Simple. Yeah, it does it's a really simple, good job. But fucking but then, clever. Carrying on from that point, the yeah. next little section is Mr. Potato Head then gets thrown out of the cot of all his bits and he walks up to Ham mm. and he puts his eye in a different place, his mouth in a different place, his hands yeah. in a different place and he goes, hey, look, I'm Picasso. Yeah. And it's like, a child's not going to get that joke. No. <laughs> I, I laughed at it, and I've seen that film God knows how many times. I still laugh at it. I still find it funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, they, it's, it just shows how Pixar started with their, you know, here's the kids' humour, here's the adults' humour. It's subtle, isn't and it? And it's it just weaves, so worked yeah, in it there just that you just don't in. I think it's probably because they weren't... Uh, What's the girl's name? Millie? Molly. Molly the girl's Molly. Name. Oh, yeah, it was Molly, yeah. So I think it's probably because they weren't like a kids animation company they were a computer company so there's so much of the aspect there's nothing they're worrying about they're just just doing it they're doing it that's true yeah yeah yeah. and it's Joss Whedon as well who wrote the screenplay or part of the team is it Whedon or Whedon doesn't matter does it Joss Whedon 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 I didn't even know who he was until earlier yeah he's a dude who uh, there are a lot of big names directed Avengers yeah I think so Avengers there you go yeah there's a lot of big names in this Film. Tom Hanks. Yeah. Tom Hanks is Woody. Woody. Uh, Tim Allen. Who's Buzzy. Buzzy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Tim Allen? Where is he now? I think can he's you, Can we name one more thing he's done? Yeah. Home Improvement. Santa Claus. Santa Claus 2. Well, uh, I thought it was him. Okay, so that explains Toy what Story happened 2. to him. Toy Story 3. Welcome to the Jungle. So actually, he's he's not gone anywhere. Toy Story 3 wasn't that long ago. No, he's no. probably doing Toy Story 4. Do you know he had a criminal they... past? Did he? Yeah, S- drugs, selling... drugs charges before he became an actor. Because okay. he was a comedian first. Different. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was hilarious in Snowman. He's really cool. I like, I like Tim Allen. Santa Claus. I like Santa Claus too. Yeah, Santa, <laughs> Santa, Santa Claus is pretty good. He's Sorry, pretty cool guy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fucking in two different places at the same time in one head. Uh, right, so what happened next then? Um, I don't know. Right, but basically, well, um, one thing I wanted to point out just off the bat. Because, like we said at the start, this is a movie from 1995. Yes. It really has aged fucking incredibly. This it's... film ha- is like the fine wine of the animation world. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, I mean, you can see there's slight jankiness in places, uh, particularly with the people, like, not the, the toys necessarily. The people are the most parts of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so like Andy, his mum, you know, some are kind of like the arm movements, leg movements, eyes, you know. You a can see the age. Yeah. yeah. But it still looks good. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of just like the general animation, like the toys, the environment, fucking hell, it looks great. Yeah, it, it looks, looks it looks really good. Like, yeah, yeah, like the the like um, expressions that the toys get on their faces still work. Yes, like, yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks 
just looks yeah, looks good. It's, it's, I think it's, it's timeless. Ti- yeah, I was just yeah. about to say it's <laughs> absolutely fucking timeless. But um, yeah. So I mean, after like Andy's finished playing, uh, his mum calls him. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. He heads yeah. out the room, and this is when you get your first impression of toys having a soul. And so they all start having their souls, and everyone starts talking. Yeah. And I've forgotten. Bo Peep thanks him, doesn't she? She's like, you're brave, Woody. Yeah, she's got such a sexy voice. I don't know who plays Bo Peep, but she sounds You can have hot. another Googler if you want. Yeah, but I'm fed up with Googling. I hate being the Googler. <laughs> you, you say I'm hard to please. He might have another bad time, like you didn't find a Nemo when you realised it was Ellen the Generous who done Dory's voice. That wasn't a bad time. I was just shocked. I'm going to Google. I, I didn't have a bad time. Actually, we've got it on recording, so I should just yeah. look back at it. Maybe yeah, I did I'm have fr- a bad I thought, time. Because you thought she was going to be really attractive. Ellen DeGeneres is pretty. In a, like, I'm a lesbian sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> she is a lesbian, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Uh, see, I knew it, even before you said it. Mm. <laughs> even before you said it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is when they then decide to start up a meeting. That's it. That's yeah. it. So you kind of get, like... You see, like, the personalities of all of them around, like, Woody's going yes. between them, because you get the ham, you get the ham, and uh, that's the pig character. Yes. You get ham and potato head having that little thing. Mm. Then, um... Meat and potatoes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then Woody's walking through, and he, like, ex- 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 sketch. Oh, the ex- the Etch-a-Sketch. E- yeah, see, Etch-a-Sketch, yeah. That, that kind of walks past, so he's, like, draw, and then that thing turns around and draws, and then, like... Yeah. So you're seeing, like, toys that you know. Yes. Like... With, with, with a now. life. Yeah, so yeah. Then, like, then he goes up to... Um, and then Rex tries to scare him. and like So you see, like... And then he whines about it. Yeah. <laughs> so you start to see, like, all the different, like, types of personalities his toy have and all yeah. that. But as we said when we were watching it, it really, like, mentally scarred, like, a, an age group. Because, like, yeah. I remember the first time I saw this, I then went and tried to speak to my toys. <laughs> Yeah, you see? Do you know what I mean? Like, yes. Why know, would they talk to me? I'm like, I'm like, come on, you can talk to me, you can trust me. Just staring at it dead in the eyes. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> well, we can be friends. This is it. We did have a point in saying this when we were watching the film, and we just said to ourselves, like you're saying, this brought a generation of children into a subtle sense of schizophrenia, where every single child was talking to their toys, but to anyone on the outside of this, just sees a child talking to themselves continuously, saying, why don't you talk to me? <laughs> do, you how, do you see how worrying that can be for a parent? You see, when your kid's just sitting there in a corner with like, his, oh, it's his favourite toy. Leave him alone. You know, do you know what I mean? And he's just there going, why don't you speak like you used to? You know. <laughs> I know you can talk. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's basically, Toy Story is the reason why our generation is bad at everything. Well, we're not bad at everything. Oh. Yes, we it's are. It's a bit harsh to generalise yeah. the whole bad, generation. We're bad, at, toy, uh, we're bad at being nice to one another, but we're also bad at killing one another. So what can we do? <laughs> Boom. I'm not even going to arguing that. No. <laughs> That's for a different podcast. Right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so yeah, then you get... Um, so Woody's up on stage. He's like, he's the main, the main, he's the big dog, the yes. big cheese. Yes. Like the president of the toys. He is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But do you think it's because he's Andy's favourite toy? Is that why he's then yeah. Yeah, the big yeah, cheese sure. of all the toys? It's, uh, yeah. what, what's it? What's it? Uh, it's like favouritism. There is yeah. an element of favouritism, which kind of... Because everything's about Woody yeah. in that room. Yeah. yeah. They, they've kind everyone of got, looks up to him. It's kind of like a dystopian, like, civilization, isn't, isn't what, it? Just, just, really? What, like Woody is the Fuhrer? Well, because they consider... <laughs> well, kind of, yeah. Well, they consider, they consider Andy like a fucking like God, don't they? And God's chosen... God's chosen is Woody. And so Woody's like this fucking evil Pope killer who fucking just rules over because God's chosen him. And everyone just... Pope? But nobody <laughs> yeah, nobody questioned that. No, like, but like, not that he kills Popes. He's a Pope figure who kills... Look what he did but to I Buzz. I think you're probably looking a little bit too far. Look into... what he did to Buzz. Yeah, but he didn't mean to do that. We'll get to that. We'll get it's to because that. We'll God get to chose that. Buzz. God being a boy. I see your I see your point of view. I don't agree with it though. No. I knew you wouldn't. Nobody <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> no. does. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's yeah, doing so his speech. He's doing his little speech. I, there was a good bit with like it's just that little thing, so like subtlety of it like he's going through the little microphone toy and then the microphone's too close you're getting feedback he like tells him to back off and 
it's just like it's just so well done. Uh, and it's like like you're talking about with the adult humour and stuff, like the subtlety of like the whole uh, plastic corrosion awareness day. Yeah, yes. like a yes. kid, you know, it's going to go totally over a kid's face. Uh, face. It's going to go all over their. It's going to go all over their face. But it's going to go totally over their head. But like you know, and he's like, oh, you know, I've always a really good day, and thank you to uh, what was it, Mister Speak, S- See and Speak, uh, Speak no. and See. It was a uh, Mr. Sketch. It was no, it no, no, it's, it's, the, it's the one where you type and then it says the words oh, back. Yeah. Say and speak. I don't yeah, know. Or, whatever his name was. Yeah. But then it just goes like, "You're w- welcome." <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's fucking brilliant. Like it's it's subtle and it's, it's funny really good. Yeah. and it appeals to adults. Like it's fucking brilliant. Yeah. But that's like you were saying earlier. It's the typical Pixar thing. It's fucking throughout. It's synonymous with it. Yeah. And it's great. You know. Yeah. So awesome. then Woody's reading off, and then he uh, quickly just drops in at the end that. It's very windy, but it's rain. rain. It's, it's raining. It's raining. Well, it's yeah. England. It's rainy season. We live always. in England, by the way. Um, I assume they've realised yeah. the accent. Yeah, but we could live somewhere else. We could be from England, but live in, say, uh, the Dominican Republic. We could. But we don't. We live in England. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so he then casually reads out, oh, Andy's birthday's been moved to today. And that's a really big deal. What? Yeah. Because everyone's scared. And yeah, the toys live on a constant fear they're going to be replaced. Dystopian society. It's, yeah. it's boom. Do you see? Because I'm not so fucking crazy them. now. Like Rex, straight away, Rex like, what if he gets a better dinosaur? It's actually scary. You, and, you know. It's, it's so true. You know what? I hate, I hate to fucking like just blow my own out. horn, right? But it's always the same. It's always the fucking same with you two. In ev- and it's like the movies. No, it's like the fucking movies. Listen, like here we movies, go again. Because in the movies, like the protagonist who's like trying to fucking tell the world that things aren't right, there's something wrong, and everyone's like, "He's crazy. He's a fucking freak. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Everything's fine. You're just crazy, dude." And then forty-five minutes into the film, they're like, "Shit, I think he's onto something." And then by the end, he's overthrown society. So they're all really society. scared they're going to get replaced. Yeah, so they're, they're like, they like so they get on they get on thing and look out the window. <laughs> and, um, Fuck. That was, that was a good cut there, Adam. Yeah. Um, and they're looking out the window and the kids are coming in with the, to- with the presents and they're getting, like, the boxes are getting bigger and bigger and yeah, bigger yeah, and bigger. Yeah. And then like, you can see Ham's like, oh, we're going to be like next week's car boot sale and all this. Yeah. Like, so they're very scared. Yeah. Um, but then they, they, they hatch a plan. Yeah. Yes. Adam, do you want to go into the plan? Yeah, so Woody, Woody decides to send in like the A-team. Yeah. Who are our little green army men? You get in a bucket. Yeah. What is the name of the bucket? It's something weird. Bucket it's of the, soldiers. Bucket of soldiers. Yeah. Great name for a bucket of soldiers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? They, I think they looked at it for a while and went, "What could we call this bucket of soldiers?" <laughs> Half an hour later, <laughs> yeah. they're still, still staring. They're just like... <laughs> <laughs> and another half an hour later yeah. we should bucket. go for lunch <laughs> we're late bucket of chicken so- anyone? soldier bucket no. not quite uh, back to the drawing board <laughs> so yeah so, and then the movie kind of turns into like a bit of a war epic so they're going on this mission to um... did it? yeah of yeah. course it did like the music kicked in and everything oh, that's, yeah. that's true yeah um, so the soldiers go on their mission to uh, kind of scout out and see if they can see what the, the toys are as they're being opened so they have to um get downstairs if you haven't like, seen this think apocalypse now but with less fire yeah yeah so like they throw a rope over and then like no two parachute ones jump off because i love them the thing is they like brilliant. these are all toys that you got in the box as well so like yes. the two parachute ones jump off and they give the all clear rope comes down the rest slide down mm. and then uh they're walking to the plant pot or something i can't i can't that's oh, that's yeah. like their so that's where they've that's got where their lookout that's place. the lookout place yeah and they're walking and they hear that and Am- his mum's coming so yes. they stop and they all pull out their bows. You've got like the bazooka one. You've got the gun one. You've got the you got like the, vi- the, the victorious one. Yeah, yeah. You've know, yeah, you like, got yeah. the medic. You've got, yeah. you got you know you've got them all. The grenadier. Like, you know. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> so then Andy's mum comes out, crushes one. Yeah. And then, <laughs> just <laughs> savage. And she just kicks the rest out of the way. Yeah. Brutal. Bit fucked up. Um, but obviously, if you don't know they're alive, you're not going to think of it, are you? Yeah. You should always. We've all stepped on a Lego piece. You should always have the concern of life. Yeah. Just in case. Even if you think something's not alive. I don't know. I feel like that would be quite, you know. Yeah, that would be a bit intense. So yeah. Everything could be like fan. Could, that drum could be alive that you threw your phone at. Say Apologize sorry. to the drum. Yeah, but it's actually the equivalent. I of don't just, hear you saying sorry. No, because I'm not going to. Because it's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just like it's the human equivalent of just like a little tap on the bum, playful thing. I'm not. Uh, what, if lobbing a phone at it. If I twice. stuck a drumstick through it and split it, 
that would be the equivalent of sticking a drumstick up a person's bum and rupturing an them. organ <laughs> with them. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. It's like a playful pat on the bum. Okay, fine. So, yeah. He was not going to apologise to you, drum. Just leave it. <laughs> you should leave. Pack it's not it back. Worth it. See, it's not worth do you remember it. what we were saying earlier about a generation <laughs> fucked up? <laughs> He's still yeah. talking to an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if the like, as we were talking, we just noticed the drums walking away. It <laughs> 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 leaves the room. <laughs> it just does all the kind of looks like. Dum, 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 yes. dum. <laughs> um, yeah, so like, so the rest of them are trying to get to the plant pot, and then you've got the one that's crushed, and he's like, just so go one goes back, and like, me, go drags him along, and he's trying to get him up. In, oh yes, a good soldier so good. never leaves a man behind. Yeah. <laughs> um, they get the walkie-talkie dropped down to them, and they're like scouting out. It's incredibly yeah. professional. It's yeah, it's so really, good. It's, it's, a, it's a tight operation. It looks and like then they it works yes. on the one that's been injured and sorts yeah, him out. Well, you'd imagine out. they've done it. Uh, for roughly the amount of times that Andy's had a birthday. So yeah, but that's assuming, yeah, but that's assuming that he got all the toys when he was born. Yes. Oh, good point. Very good point. Well, he's probably had like the bucket of soldiers for a decent time. A couple of years. Woody what? sounds like he's had for a decent time. I don't think he kind of had them for that long because, you know, small parts and children don't really mix, do they? From five upwards, he's had them. Potentially. There we go. Yes. And he's, what, eight? So, like, he's so had them for three years. Yeah, them a while. I'll do. He's kept them in amazing condi- uh, condition. Condition. Yeah. Fucking hell. What was well, that? Well, it's because the medic keeps putting them back together again. Ah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, so then they do like a, uh, you know, they're radioing up what's coming. Yes. And uh, they're safe. It's a lunchbox. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a like, uh, bed sheets. <laughs> Who invited that child? <laughs> Who invited good. that child? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head is uh, savagely funny in this. Yeah, he's brutal. Hang on. We're recording. Good. I, I just yeah. had to check. Sorry, yeah. I was getting a bit like OCD about things. We're yeah, fine. We're good. Not again. We'd have to yeah. get that picture of Dan. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> um, yes, but then like... There's one more toy. They go to shut off the radio, but no. There's one more. Yes, and this is where uh, there's a frantic panic upstairs amidst the toys which are receiving the transmission. Uh, and it's Rex, I believe, because Rex... He's, he's Rex, 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 very insecure. He's he's yeah. he's one of those people in your life. You're probably going to compare him to me, to be honest. A lovable liability. And he's got tiny arms. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 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 but he's got a good roar. <laughs> so basically, fuck you. Um, Rex is like getting anxious, and he shakes the table. He's like, "What is it? What is it?" And he knocks the radio down. Two AA batteries fall out. Now, to most people, this isn't a big issue. To inanimate objects that somehow have souls, this is a a, a calamity. So they can't, like, Rex can't put it back in because he's he's got his his arms arms. too small, yeah. And then Ham tries to put him in, but he's got these big... Trotters. (laughs) (laughs) It's It's true, yeah. They are called trotters, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah, so he can't do it. So then Woody has to get involved. Oh, imagine if you Um, trotters. And then, so he does it, gets the battery, and then they say, like, the army men are fine, like, they're coming upstairs, coming upstairs, the kids. Yeah. So then... Like, you feel the panic in the toys as yes, they're, like, yes, you do. It's as they're trying intense. to get back into place. You really do feel the, the panic and urgency that they need to get back mm. into place. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was done really well. Yeah, so this is when it's, uh, like, you know, they're aware that there's this new toy. Andy and, uh, uh, you know, he's got a fair amount of friends. I would say about, like, another ten kids come in. It's quite a shitstorm. Yeah, of course. It's an absolute <laughs> clusterfuck. Yeah. We've got to point out, like, the most horrific part of this film. <laughs> oh, muscle man. Right. Muscle man. Admittedly, <laughs> he's he's a quite a typical muscle man. He's all brawn and no brains. That <laughs> <laughs> he's like back to his place. He's like behind the door. <laughs> behind the door, and he's just like uh, whoa! <laughs> just like, fucking slammed into the wall. <laughs> like like we all kind of looked at each other when that happened. Oh, did I do it again? Uh, you clipped a few. Yeah. Oh, sorry again. Be all right. But like so. He's slammed into oblivion. You don't. You don't even <laughs> fucking see him. I mean, that door. Gone. That door is open with such fucking ferocity by Andy. Andy, like you know when like 
mothers, <laughs> like when a mother has their child in danger, and they and they lift a car to change their to change their child to, to fucking save their child. <laughs> <laughs> I want a new one. <laughs> Do you, you know what I mean? Like, you, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. People are incre- like capable of these incredible amounts of like oh, adrenaline and burst yeah, of strength. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Andy had one of those when he <laughs> fucks over Muscle Man. He was like, I want to play with this toy so mad. <laughs> but and like, fucking poor muscle man disappears in a fucking <laughs> shit storm of wood and fucking ply and fucking nails it doesn't <laughs> and all you see the door don't get ripped yeah, up all you see oh it did and then all you see fucking feet everywhere fucking kids trampling Woody gets fucking nailed yeah, off the bed yeah, like, <laughs> fucking nailed off the bed I don't even think it was Andy because nah. that, he, he had a very olivey skin tone, this child. So he fucked him over. <laughs> yeah. Woody's down. Fuck that Woody's shit. Woody's down. Toys are fucking everywhere. And you just see a box. Yeah, but then they just put it on the bed. And, and then they all fuck off. No, because yeah, no, yeah. no, yeah. his mum's like, uh, ice pizza. Cream. Ice, cream. Uh, ice, ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Ice and cream. And what child, after, no. after smashing up a door, killing a toy, and... Probably eating one another a little bit <laughs> can resist the call of ice cream. Who could possibly fucking argue with? That? I still don't understand. Why did Muscle Man sit by a door? Like That's say, his place. He's no, not, but it's a, not his he's place. He's not a bright toy. It's not his place because it's not like Andy goes. No, right, I'm putting all my toys back in you place. See, this... I'm gonna put Muscle Man by the door hinge, and then I'm gonna go through the door and come back, and he's still gonna no. be by a door hinge. <laughs> no, because this is this is why in <laughs> real life. This is why in real life I was. Oh my god, I had a really good point, and then I thought it's a terrible point because it came true. I was going to say, this is why society never elects muscle heads as officials. And I thought, Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to yeah, yeah. California. He was, yeah. But was. look how bad that went. So basically... Did it go this... badly? I, I literally have no idea. Yeah, no, well, no. it didn't go well. But it went well in... enough. It, well, they're still there. There was no they're catastrophes. No. Well, this is this is basically how people will sum I, up I consider Donald that a victory. Yeah. 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 If I don't fuck anything up, it's a victory. But like, if, like, if Woody wasn't like... The leader and Muscle Man was a. Le- Imagine the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. Yeah. Can you, can, if that was a spin-off film, I'd watch it. Because he would just be there, like with the radio, and they're like, Andy's coming. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, What should we do, boss? <laughs> Ah, get behind the door! <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, Andy can't get in his room. Andy, the Andy's like, like, why do my toys keep breaking? Yeah, be like that. Did you ever see World War Z? Oh, when yeah. all the zombies are like piling on top of you. Yeah, like, like oh. You see, so, like, Muscle Man, bless him, like, great toy, good for a chuck about and stuff, but not the brightest toy. No. So he got fucked. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So now there's this spaceship on the bed. Yes. yes. Everyone runs over and like, Woody, what's going on? What's going on? Woody appears from under the bed. And they were like, Woody, why are it. you under the bed? He, he tries to blag it, but yeah. everyone knows. They know. They, everyone they, knows. Yeah. You got bitch slapped. Yeah. Oh, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Muscle Man's like, oh, you got fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, with his face all like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, his face all like, his face all like, missing an arm. Yeah. A fucking foot behind <laughs> his head. Were they stupid? That doesn't happen. <laughs> Sadly, it should. Wish it, it did. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so then Buzz Lightyear is on there. the bed. Yeah, Woody goes up to see what's going on. He does that famous scene. And uh, the pan. Panning up. Yeah, up Buzz Lightyear is like checking out his plastic. What is it? Arm. Intercom. It's like an intercom yes. sensor yeah, yeah, thing. Yes. Yeah. On his arm and like scoping out the terrain. He thinks he's been dropped onto some alien planet. Mm, made of quilt. Trying to talk to Star Command. And Woody's thinking, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we got a live one. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? Well, well he, he, this starts, is the thing. he starts like, calling into Star Command. Yeah. But he's like, I've, like you say, he's like, I've landed on an alien planet. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't seem to be any intelligent life. And then From Woody goes, Buzz Hello. Lightyear's, yeah, first person perspective. Hello. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Buzz is like, kill it with fire. Yeah, it, it does straight away laser beam to the face. Yeah. But the thing is, so Buzz believes he is part of Star Command. He believes that he's that his his plastic no it's gonna be cardboard, yeah, it's cardboard, cardboard, cardboard ship ship. is real. And he even asks that oh do you still sorry. use I'm sorry two, I'm sorry. Do you still use fossil fuel or are you now using fucking quantum Crystal space fuel, shit? something yeah. like that. Yeah. So like so Buzz comes out of the factory 
believing he's a toy. Like, believing he is legit Buzz. Like, he believes he's a... Space Space Ranger. Space Space Ranger. Ranger. Yeah. So... But the rest of them don't. Yeah, this is... Well, it was... Yeah, but he's been made differently. I could, I could go with that. Well, yeah, oh, because not, he's because he's computerized. He's computerized. Yeah, he's, but so so's the speaking spell. Well, this is it. Well, it's he like... believes he's a speaking spell. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. Fair point, Adam. I can't, I can't argue that at all. <laughs> he thinks he's a teapot. <laughs> it would be so funny if he did. And every now and then, it's just like quiet at night, and all the toys are like pretending to be asleep, and Andy's asleep, and he's just like. So who's for tea? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Mom, it's broken. <laughs> do the toys sleep? Well, no, they just turn off. But do they what do you mean sleep? turn off? I don't think they turn off. They're, they're not mechanical. No. They're I've not robots. Mr. Potato so. Head. He's not mechanical. He's not electrical. He's a... So how does a potato turn off? <laughs> Tom. Digs itself underground. <laughs> Turns his head under sand. <laughs> yeah, it's a root vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. They just, they just go on. That's how they turn up. It's like a mole. <laughs> they just dig it into Bedtime. Um, Why do you have to have hard floor? <laughs> 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 There's just like a slow like crack appearing where he's just smashing his face into just the, the floor. Just the plasterboard downstairs just like falling off and his mum's just like that kid's got something wrong with him. <laughs> he keeps talking to his toys. So um, who's for tea? <laughs> <laughs> he loves tea. <laughs> uh, right, so this is when we're introduced to Buzz who's then like you know very wary of everyone. Yeah. Yes. But everyone else is really impressed by him and they waste no time in like Sacking off Woody, going like Woody, where's your laser beam? You Even Bo Peep, who's his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, they needed to They're be real more fickle. continuation. They're that, real fickle. She was straight on him. Yeah, she was like, I know who my moving partner is. Yeah, slag. <laughs> and, and, Buzz, and Buzz was like, Oh, do you know who plays? Is it RC? Do you know who plays uh, <laughs> Bo Peep? Bo Peep. Do you know who plays her? Oh, did you look it up? Yeah, it's the um, secretary from Ghostbusters. You know the oh, really like, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, G- okay. Jean. Uh, is it Jean from Ghostbusters? Janine, yeah, something like that. Janine oh, or something. Oh, that's, that's awesome. cool. We all did have a bit of a crush on her. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so Buzz is being introduced to things, toys. And he, yeah. But he, he says, like, oh, you know, thanks for being... So hospitable and welcome me to your planet and stuff. And they don't seem to question like like you say, they've kind of fobbed Woody off. Yeah. And they don't seem to question like he's going on about planets and yeah, he's fucking shit. insane. Like this guy's fucked up. He's like that kid that came over and started talking to the wall. What was his name again? Hmm. Steph or something? Oh, that was fucking shit. What am I talking about? <laughs> was that meant to be a joke? <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I told the middle part of my joke, forgot to start the joke, and then I was like, punchline. That was the middle of the joke. I had this whole big run-up thing. It, it like, went really well, yeah. mate. No, it was... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk? Right, so... Um, but this is, like, another thing, right? So then, Mr... Uh, is this... Mr Potato Head says, like, oh, so where are you from? And then um, he's like, I'm from Taiwan. And then uh, Buzz Lightyear's like, oh, I'm from... Gorgon Sector 7 9. or whatever. Yeah, yeah like... Yeah. He, but he's, but then, like, he, like, he, oh, just, right. he just does the speech from the back of his box, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's reading it. So yeah. he's, he basically doesn't say where he's from. He just says his mission his is mission to objective. take down Zerg. Yeah, and yeah. And he's a part of Star Command. And then and blah, 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 blah. they're like, what do these buttons do? And he presses a button. Does he not find it weird that he presses a button and he goes, blah, 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 blah. I'm Buzz Lightyear. Like, do you not find, yeah. Yeah. Do you not yeah. find that weird? a great ventriloquist of a smaller version of himself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What a fucking yeah. useless ventriloquist. <laughs> there's, a good yeah. car- there's a good career in that for him. <laughs> but I, don't you think it would be weird if you, if you were born with a button? That would be, 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 be weird. weird. But you pressed it and it just said catchphrases in your voice. And it said my name. Yeah. So, what would I, what I'm would Adam. I'm Adam. Yeah. That's a shit catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much what Buzz says. Adam's my least favourite character. <laughs> <laughs> His catchphrase is so bad. <laughs> what but would yeah, your like, catchphrase be, Steph? Don't say I'm like, Steph. It would be like a sigh. It's Actually, like, it oh. would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say what mine is. Don't want to know. Because it is. involves you, a have lot to, of words. We'd have to bleep out. My catchphrase is... Um, 
Yeah, so then this is when Woody starts to doubt how good Buzz really is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if he doubts it. I think it's just his own insecurity. I he think gets, he, he gets no, jealous. Woody he's, instantly he's, hates Buzz. Yeah, because yeah. he's jealous. He's, he's scared, jealousy, like yeah. the rest of them were before, that they're going to be replaced. Like the and now he knows he's scared. the one. So yeah. now he knows. So he challenges Buzz There's, to fly. Yeah. It's like, if you're real, go on then, fly. Yeah, use those wings and fucking yeah. do something. And Buzz, thinking that he can fly... Does. does the iconic scene to infinity and, and beyond. beyond? But the thing is, if Buzz couldn't, done. if that ball wasn't there, Buzz would just plummet his head first in Probably the floor. Broken game. <laughs> it's, that, it's that fucking like old, old, like one of the first memes, isn't it? Like on YouTube, like ten years ago, it goes to infinity and beyond, and then just, just a downward <laughs> shot of Buzz and just goes. <laughs> through the floor <laughs> just like straight through the floor it's like one of the first internet memes ever it's fucking Perfect. hilarious because everyone's thought of it everyone's like he's got he's fucking lucky that yeah, ball yeah, was yeah, there yeah. but as but well the with the fucking like whatever the it is mobile, mobile thing. yeah yeah but the thing is um, right so Buzz thinks he's a fucking space ranger yeah why does he stop moving when Andy comes in yeah, I this is uh, this is another. I don't thing. want to look too far into it. it is a ch- it is a fucking ch- yeah. children's film about toys having souls at the end of the day. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have I have more things to Boy. look into than this. But do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it is a bit weird. Well, there's no easy. I can't answer. explain it. No, I don't think there is an answer, Tom. No. All right. Cool. So then, Buzz jumps off, lands on the ball. Lands on a plane, somehow attaches to a plane on a mobile yeah, thing. Happen? God knows how that happened. Launches off. He would weigh more. Lands on a car. Does the car does on the loop to loop, like Hot Wheels? Hot Wheels yeah, yeah. loop to loop. Zooms up and lands on the bed. Straight onto the bed. Uh, at any like like gymnastics. Like. Yes, Good and it was pose. class. Yeah. Yes. He done very well. But it was all luck. Impressed. Yeah, but like he had his eyes closed the whole time. He literally did. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah. yeah. Because then, then you've got to give him at least an extra point. You've got to give at least an extra point for that. For bravery. <laughs> yeah. Or is it just all that stupidity? Yeah, I think it's more that. You can mix up the two very easily, yeah. in my yeah. opinion. So then everyone else is really impressed. Like, ah, oh, you flew really well, Buzz. It's like, mm. said, yeah. said the pig. Falling said said the the pig. style. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then what? So then there's like a like a montage scene where Buzz is basically just being he's making friends. And this everyone. this and is where he's starting to love him more than Woody. Yes. He gets like yeah, the bed gets, sheets yeah, yeah, and all the pictures on the wall. On the wall. He and, starts dressing as Buzz. And uh, Randy Newman sings "Strange Things." Yeah. Strange things are happening to me. This is the second Randy Newman song. Yeah. And gotta say, Smashes fucking awesome it soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, it's, fucking it's awesome good. soundtrack. Because the first one, like the opening the classic. song, is "You Got a Friend in Me." And that's fucking awesome. Everyone knows it. But this song, fucking brilliant. Like, it's awesome. It's just awesome. It is, awesome. Yeah. It's great. It's great fun. So, yeah. Sorry. So, yeah. Everything's changing. All dynamics changing. Andy loves Buzz. Buzz is indifferent to Andy. And Woody's getting put back in a toy yeah. box with all the other toys. Yeah, He's getting more and more jealous. Yes. Yeah. And in fairness, you, you, you would. You like, would, yeah. yeah. You would. But at the same time, like, it does kind of, it does make it somewhat hard to sympathise with him because you think, like, you know, it's ugly. Jealousy's yeah. ugly. You it know? is. Don't, don't. Yeah, but when you're, when, you're, when you're top dog and then someone else comes along and replaces you and you don't even have a chance. Yeah, it's to hard. Yeah, but it's like, it's like his desperation for power over all the other toys and being in control of everything and being the most popular is more important than actually just being like, actually, I've had a good two years in power. I've had my dystopian society. I'm just going to settle down, me and well, Bo, live a quiet life, maybe have a couple of Boettes. Yeah, but Bo's run or, off with or, Buzz. Or Woodays. Yeah, Bo's, Bo's, Bo's with Buzz. But she's not. Bo's friend the No, I mean, she she's ran not, into but... his arms because his jealousy pushed her away. But Ooh. it comes to a head when he goes on his murderous rampi- rampage and uh, yes, tries to true. kill Buzz. Yeah, so basically, Woody, there's just... Clips of Buzz being Did friends with all. Did we miss out Sid? I think we missed out. Oh yeah, Sid, no, Sid, Sid was just Sid. before that. Yeah. Yeah, Sid trying to blow up a little army man. So Sid's the next door neighbour. Commando Carl. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> so they can hear him outside with combat like a Carl. weird cackle laugh. Yes. Oh, combat Carl. Ha, and his ha, dog. Ha, ha, ha. Scud. Scud. So I've written down about uh, Sid's cinder block. Oh <laughs> yeah. Right. So <laughs> you know, like but <laughs> fucking hell. So they're looking out, Sid's on this kind of like, you know, 
he's got a, a combat Carl, which is basically like one like a GI Joe sort of thing, yeah, like yeah, one of those like little man, kind of yeah. Whatever. And he's got like a firecracker stuck to his back. And you I don't know, know, it more looked fucking the explosion was more like a nuclear. Well, bomb. this this is it. Like this this scene is <laughs> fucked up on many levels. Like first of all, Buzz has no recollection of danger, considering he's a fucking space ranger, and he's like, "What the happy child?" <laughs> it's like, yeah. He is about to murder one of your compatriots, my friend. Mm. You know, and so like this is all a big issue. So considering he's strapped an explosive to a toy, you'd guess that his main objective is to blow the fucker into smithereens. So when Sid then picks up a cinder block. <laughs> And throws it, oh, I don't know. It was a good four inches, wasn't yeah. it? It was, <laughs> yeah. it was, really far. It was it like, was it was like a foot. So he throws it a good four inches, misses, misses Combat Carl. Misses his... Just totally fucks up. <laughs> Obviously, a pretty strange child in the first case. He doesn't know what to do. He Cackle, doesn't seem deterred, Cackles though, a he? bit, but... He no, no, he's, no, no, no. He's, <laughs> he's more than happy he's, to carry on. Yeah. He's not deterred. I mean, his inner thoughts are probably like, I oh, must look an idiot. But, yeah. <laughs> but, but he just thinks to himself, all right, carry on. So he likes this Thank God a load of toys aren't watching me out the window. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> who'd have funk? Yeah. <laughs> so he likes his firecracker. And you think to yourself, like, this thing, probably about that big. I don't know. Would you say? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've, we've bought them before when we were younger. They kind of just like, pop. Yeah, you know, it's just yeah. a little bit bang, of smoke. It? Yeah, you know, yeah. it mainly just gives us smoke. This thing, fucking hell. The <laughs> earth shakes. Bits of fucking shrapnel fly up but loads in the of air. Shrapnel. Yeah. Yes. More than a toy. More than a combat commando, combat Carl. Combat, combat Carl. Carl. Combat Carl. Yes. More bits than a combat Carl. It's like he blew up a baby. But the thing is... Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> none, of them, none of them seem that face. So all the toys are watching this from the window and then they're just like, oh, Jesus. It's like... <laughs> <you're>... <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, like if you saw a person Your mate has just up, been absolutely fucking... destroyed. You'd be oh, starved bad, for life it? if you saw that. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's, but you see, I think under their dystopic society, that much like North Korea, can't really express emotions yeah. in the in the in the way. But if if Buzz, on the other hand, under the tyranny was, of was, Woody, uh, was, yeah, <laughs> if Buzz, on the other hand, was crucified, they would have to have huge public displays of anguish. Oh, oh <laughs> Kim Jong Buzz, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. and very the, political and, and those yeah. those that don't uh, cry hard enough will be taken to the toy box. Be given a good thrashing by Muscle Man. I'm stuck him, stuck <laughs> him behind the door. <laughs> My time to shine. <laughs> I'll put you behind yeah, door. Stick him behind door. Yeah. Um, <laughs> See ya. Yeah. So then, right, so then we do the carry on with the montage, um, and then they're on the desk. Woody, Woody, and Buzz get put on the desk together. Mm. Yeah. And Woody is looking at Buzz, who's now wandering around looking for bits to fix his spaceship with. Yes. And uh, he forms a little plan in his head. He, so he asks he, the eight ball, doesn't he? Yeah. So oh yeah, he talks to the eight ball. Will I will I go to Pizza Planet, Planet or with Andy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, eight ball says so don't me. count on it. Yeah. Oh, we'll land choose me. So yeah. don't count on it. So he gets angry, throws a ball down the side, and realizes behind a desk is like a void that no one ever goes. Cavern. Yeah. It's so uh, sorry for the eight ball. Yeah. So the eight ball's gone. That's <laughs> yeah. it. That, that's Buzz didn't give a that, we didn't give a shit about the eight no, ball. He really. couldn't give a Just fuck. Like, fucking eight ball. Get out of here, useless thing. Evil character. Then he thinks, what if I throw Buzz down there? So well, Buzz can scream. Yeah. Eight balls can't scream. Well, he didn't think it through properly. In the did void, he? can okay, anybody hear you scream? Oh, good oh. question. Yeah. That's a great question. <laughs> we'll never know. No, well, because he fucked yeah, up. Exactly. And it, Abel could have been screaming his lungs out or his his goo out. Oh. Can I just make a oh, I'll make, I don't know if I should make this point after, but so Woody's trying to get Buzz down the side of this desk. Into okay, so it's not a very big the fall. Void, yeah. It ends up with Woody, you know, trying to push Buzz into the desk with the car, it goes awry, things start to happen, it's like a It's like mouse trap. Yeah, it's like mouse yes. trap scenario. Ends up with Buzz falling out of the window. Yes. Now if Buzz doesn't break falling out of the window, right? And it's not yeah. like in any way damaged. What was pushing him behind a desk going to do? I think it was just going to get him stuck. Yeah, but I, I think Woody looked down there and realised there was an eight ball, there's some other bits. I just very, got down there and it stuck. It's a very good point though, because Andy's on the top floor of the house, um, so it's a fair drop. I'd say what fifteen? Yeah, but he falls in a bush. Feet? Yeah, but still, like so the, grass is, the grass is it. the grass is cut short, so it's still going to be really. And he's made of hard plastic. That snaps easily from yeah. small amounts of, you know, kinetic energy, kinetic force. If Woody fell off, he'd be all right because he's a plush toy. Yeah. But Buzz, 
No, he's in for trouble, I reckon. I, Not I a mean, scratch on him. I mean, I agree. But you disagree. Just look at the film. And Why we can't carry you just on. agree with me? No, I did. I said I fucking agree. Why can't but you there's no point going on about it because Why we... do we go out anymore? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> never <laughs> see me outside <laughs> the podcast. Why you love me? <laughs> 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 you never answer my calls anymore. <laughs> so, uh, the yeah, rest so... of the toys kind of figure it out that yeah. Buzz has Woody, uh, Woody has tried to kill Buzz. Tried to... Which, to be fair, Woody didn't try to do. He just tried to get him stuck in a cavern. Yeah, but he would have starved to death. <laughs> 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 do you think Woody would have got him out? Or do you think Woody was no, just like... Starved to death. <laughs> <laughs> to death. <laughs> oh, if only somebody had a ham sandwich in the void. <laughs> uh, yeah, but they turn on him real quick. As Very well, quick. Real quick. And it gets ugly. Like, they but they want to crucify them. They want to throw him out of the window. But, yeah. then, but then, like, this is what I'm, I was saying from the start. Like I said, in the end, I'll be proven right. When your dictatorship or your dystopian society is, is crumbling, the people will rise up yeah. and rebel because they realise yeah. the madman who first posed the question was right all along. And Buzz was there to put the question out there to the world. And when his when he was eliminated... And taken out by the fascist regime, he was that. It was then the time that was their cool. It was then action. the time of the common man to overthrow the evil of Woody. And just like Woody's Mussolini, evil. who was hung from a lamppost with his testicles put into his so, mouth. So you love <laughs> you know, Woody. Woody. Woody received the same. Woody. Woody. Yeah. Yeah. They just um, put him in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, so then we see like a little scene of uh, the toys trying to rescue Buzz. <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> they just breathe fast. Like <laughs> just carry on. Yeah, so then like you get the toys trying to rescue Buzz a bit, but yeah. they're not very useful. It's, it's in it's in vain. Yeah. And then vain. and then that's where we got. That's to. where we got to. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Andy quickly grabs Woody because he wants Buzz. Can't find him. He's like, "Where's my Buzz?" And his mum's like, "Shut up, you fucking ignorant twat." Just take any toy. Yeah. yeah. And take Muscle Man. Yeah, most of like, you never <laughs> take me. <laughs> it's like, because you're fucking an idiot. And, <laughs> and he grabs Woody, gets in the car, Buzz zooms out of the bush and uh, jumps, jumps onto the, the back car. of the car and they begin riding off to Pizza Planet. And, and that's, that's where we it. end. With that's Dino Code. Dino Code. Great Dino-Code. name for a petrol station. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's fucking well brilliant. So, what 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 do we reckon, eh? Well, obviously, is it, is it, is obviously it it's great, great and yes, movie. we'd all carry on watching it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you did. I don't know if I can put up with Woody's shit any longer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a bit sick of his fascist regime. If I'm well, that's honest. why you got to carry on watching it, because yeah. Buzz sorts it out. That's true. And everyone lives happily ever after. They yeah. do indeed. Much like... Till, till number two. Yeah. Then at the end of that, they live happily ever after. But number two is great for Jesse. Jesse's brilliant. It is another crush. Oh, of course. <laughs> Who's your crush in this one? You haven't got Andy's one. mum. Andy's mum. <sighs> She's fit. Yeah, Andy's mum would be the one you would go for. But... Well, so. They're all toys. <laughs> yeah, She's the, the only other, other <laughs> fucking human so in it. Woman? What about the pizza delivery driver? They weren't in it. Yeah, when Buzz and Woody are in the back. Yeah, but not yet. Not yet. Not in no. a half hour. But he was quite hot, wasn't he? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Uh, I definitely anyway. don't like yeah, him. Yeah, so I... <laughs> 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 uh... Yeah. yeah, so yeah, okay. great. Yeah, so, so we, yeah, we would all continue watching it. I'm jesting. Everything's fine. I love it. Good. So the game we played was the one for the SNES. I don't know if there's more. Yeah, there's one for the Game Boy. There's another for the <laughs> Sega. I think the Mega Drive, um, mm. and then there's, I think it's on Windows as well. Sure. Yeah. 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 So had any of us played this before? Me. Thomas. Ad? No? no, I never played it either. I played Toy Story two loads, but I haven't played Toy Story yes. one. Uh, I played it quite as a bit uh, as a kid because there was a like a friend that I used to go to his house like, after school sometimes quite a bit, and he had it on the snares. But I think I also had like a demo version for Windows ninety five. Sure, yeah. You know, it had the cow. Oh. Do you remember the Windows ninety five where yeah, it had like yeah, the yeah, cow yeah, patches yeah. on it and stuff? No, Adam remembers the, the screen. Yeah, the desktop. It was like cow patches, and I don't know why. No, I don't remember that. Oh. Um, but yeah, I, I had the demo version for that, which was basically up until the first boss. So I, I played that quite a bit. I loved it. Cool, yeah. So who developed this? It was developed, I wrote it on the film bit by mistake. It was developed by Traveller's Tales, which are also, uh, we've covered them once before with our Finding Nemo episode. Yeah, yeah. The Lego so another, games another Pixar. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, they did all, they've been do, they're still doing Lego games now. Still doing them, yep, yep, yep. Fucking hell. Well, so yeah, so check out our Finding but Nemo episode. But they just released well. Lego Ninjago. Yeah. 
the film and the game. Yeah. So maybe in a few years we'll do that when it comes down in price. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good idea there, Steph. <laughs> and, Stay uh, topical. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this game was published by Disney Interactive, which yeah. I think is the same as Finding Nemo. Probably. Yes, I imagine yeah, exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so, when uh, did this come out? Uh, this uh, came out literally just a month after Toy Story. Yeah, so December. basically right in time for Christmas. So this ah. is just like... Uh, did, did we actually? We didn't actually get it? a day... Uh, yeah, I thought we'd do uh, something like December. Oh, actually, no, maybe not. No, so we got December 95. So this is within a month. Don't you start. So I, I, saw you I saw you. Oh, it was a yawn? Yeah, the yawn. Oh, right, sorry. What <laughs> <laughs> fuck did you think I was going to do? It's because I was trying to check things out, and I was like, oh, he's he's got me. He's got me. I've fucked up. And as I looked up, you were going... And I was like, he's going to scream at me. <laughs> so, so I was like, defend yourself now. So I was like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> I'm going to push you out of a window. Sorry, really didn't anticipate that. I preempted yeah, I totally just, the wrong thing. I just, I just had a long day. Just Sorry. Just yawned. <laughs> Sorry, Steph. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I was just like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> I'll note to yawn away from you in future. Sorry about that. That highlights my insecurities more than your tiredness, believe yeah. me. You're like Woody. You're the Woody of the podcast. I'm not. I you am, are. I am not. <laughs> What's that? Is that it? <laughs> it's like, you are. You are. <laughs> I'm muscle man, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> um, oh. Right, yeah, so the game. Okay, so uh, starts off as most games do, a menu. Mm -hmm. You can instantly know that the music isn't licensed in this yeah. game. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a kind of... It's a weird warped version. Yeah, it's kind of a vague transition of a Randy Newman song <laughs> rather than a Randy Newman song. Yeah. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like they've given sheet music in Braille to a blind and deaf person and said, do, do this. Do this on the piano. They can read Braille, but it's, it's hard to do music Braille reading when you're playing the reading of the music braille and, and they're having a deaf. tough time well, beethoven was deaf good point you can still play music and be musically okay. uh, apt fuck it <laughs> sure anyway. so basically the music is is a bit of a knockoff but it's all right i mean it goes yeah. it it's goes fine. with it it's you, fine. you can deal with it um yeah. so the game kind of starts off it has it has kind of these kind of cut sequence which are basically giving a very very basic overview of the film's plot. Yeah. So your first level, much akin to the movie, is you need to release the army men yep. uh, from the bucket of soldiers. Yep. So they can go downstairs and get the information and about the toys the and Andy's birthday. As well. yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. straight in with the film. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's like a side-scrolling platformer. Mm -hmm. uh, you have jump and whip. But mm -hmm. it's not, it's like you throw um, his little coil thing out yes. of the yes. back out of Woody's Woody's pull string. Yes. You use that. Oh, sorry. Um, what's that, number three? So I then you... Burpee today. You, um, so you start off, the graphics, are, they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite nice. The one thing quite nice. I kind, that kind of gets on my nerves is that Woody is like a different style of graphics to the rest of the game. So he's like the yes. photograph. It was like sorta... um, the, same, the same kind of way as Harry Potter 1. Like Harry Potter looked good but the rest of the cast looked terrible. Yeah. Like this yeah. one they clearly put more effort into Woody and then the rest... Yeah but I wouldn't have minded it. I think it would have looked better if the, if Woody looked uh, with the same sort of animation. It's just because of the juxtaposition in the animation. So yeah. Woody's kind of like gone for... They've yeah, taken like a enough. still from the movie and stuck that in. Yeah, like, the like the Mortal Kombat style. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, is, I mean, like, I wouldn't say the rest is terrible because, I mean... No, for the, no for it's the, not the, terrible. It's, it's, just, it's, it's right. Adam's right. It's just the... In comparison, the, there, yeah. there is a comparison. Yeah. There is a difference. But the thing is, I think, given, like, the art style and the way it looks, although it's not, like, the most pleasing thing on the eyes, and, I mean, take, like, we'll take it into account this is 95. Yeah. But then 93 yeah, yeah. was Aladdin. Which looked great. I think it was 93, wasn't it? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Yep, I'm just. Um, <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I'm just remembering. From my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 93. yeah, 93. Yeah. yeah, so Aladdin was 93, and the thing is, like, I know it's a different, uh, like, it's a different engine. It's built in a different way. It has a different art style. But Aladdin is a fucking beautiful game. Yeah. You know, and it still is. It still looks pretty. And the thing is, Toy Story isn't quite as forgivable. But considering Aladdin was a cartoon animation. And this was done through computer graphics. You can see the art style is actually quite forgiving for this game. Yeah, it doesn't have that yeah, same yeah. beauty as yeah. Aladdin. No, but 
considering the art style and it considering... still looks good. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The so... only things that don't look good. Go on, Mr. Seth. Um, when you die, there's like a the, yeah, there's like a weird FMV kind of video of of uh, Woody. Woody, Woody like doing Do stuff, know. and it's just it's just weird, like. It doesn't work it's like a weird at all. Dancey thing. And, and, it's like yeah. a weird dancey and it's like, like it's, it's silent like, as well. Yeah, and yeah. it's like it doesn't even have like. The, and like the frame rate's like, really bad. It's just game over. Yeah, it's 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 really odd. It is. It doesn't fit the game at all. No, you can kind of get the sense that aspects of this were rushed, maybe to get it out at a certain time, so it might sell Could well. It sounds like you're yeah. going somewhere with this, Tom. Am I? So um, <laughs> so yeah. So level one, you're uh, yeah, you're trying to get the soldiers and whatnot. So you're yeah, just running along. You've got a few enemies to dodge. I found the game quite hard. Yeah, yeah there's. A I, f- I think it's one of those time. like standard old game where like you, you know you pick it you, up. You from pick it up exactly. It yeah, it you know, it, you know. Yeah. Oh, there's a plane here. So, but I found like uh, I think it was level two. Where I was starting to have it. So, so you you do level one. It's you know same as like Mario level one. You. Quite easy, you get used to it. Yes, just yes. to get used to how it's the game you plays. Into things, yeah. You can collect stars. I think they're just for points. They don't do anything else. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's like. I think that kind of shows what we're used to now. Do you know what I mean? So like back then, you'd collect stars because you want to get all the stars in the level to get the maximum points. Yeah, and then you could tell your friends, "I got this many points in Toy Story Level One." Yeah, mm. but now when we collect stars, we think, what "Well, surely when you go back to the hub world, you can buy upgrades." Yeah, our you minds I mean? are somewhat corrupted yeah. by that's, modern that's gaming. The thing. Yeah, yeah. We, we are corrupted because we're like, well, what's the point of collecting these stars? They only give you points. It's, no one it's cares. true. You, you, it's, you're beginning to like question elements of games which are just there for like a simple pleasure. Yeah, because yeah. why, why not? Get it's something stars. extra to do. But yeah. we're just instantly like, that's stupid. I want to be able to buy. It's true. A super lasso. For it's Woody. true. Yeah. We're quite we're quite cynical about basic, uh, like, basic implements in games. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is because we're spoiled now. We really are. Yeah, yeah we are. Yeah. Like, terribly. Really um, fucking terribly spoiled. So, yeah, level one was that. And then level two was Andy's coming upstairs. Get the toys back in the box. Get so, the, you've <laughs> it takes a long got... time to get upstairs, doesn't it? You've got 180 seconds before Andy gets upstairs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's a beast. Yeah, it's a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> Andy. <laughs> so, like, you've then got um, certain enemies who are, like, wandering about but are stuck and you need to unlock them to get him to move on yes. then yeah. you've got to jump on this thing a balloon inflator yeah. and inflate them onto the box yeah time your bounce and blah blah, um, blah blah now this is where I started to find that the platforming isn't the best it's a bit janky mm-hmm. because in a platformer you should be able to see the platform you're on mm-hmm. and the gap and the one you're going to Yes, and, this and ideally, ideally, like a section of where you've come from as well to see if there's an escape back. Ideally, yeah. yeah. This one, you see the platform you're on, and the space, so yeah. you don't even see where you're jumping to. So, like, there was a bit where, like, um, you know, there's a bookcase, then there's a gap, and then mm. I, I knew there was like a little chest of drawer type thing. Yeah, but I also knew there was an enemy on it, so you're jumping blind. Yeah, there's an element of faith is your friend in this game. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. So like, you jump and then you hope you're gonna land, and you jump again straight away, hoping that if you land and the enemy's coming, you're gonna jump out of the way. Yeah. But I also think there's again, it's an element of the the repetition that you need to be able to to master the game, learn the game. Because as soon as you've done that once, you know what's coming up, mm. and you know that the next time you do it, you can do it quickly. Yes. Yeah. yeah no. True enough. True enough. I which, agree. Which is, akin just... to, which is akin to a lot of old. I just, yeah, I just feel yeah. like. The the camera could have been zoomed out a bit. Yeah, and yeah, I think you're right to be honest. And it like, wouldn't have lost anything. No, well, it probably would have gained to be honest, yeah. just because you'd like you know you would get a wider sense of the level. It'd probably be more pleasing Literally on the eye a wider as well. Sense yeah, of the level. yeah, it'd probably like be more pleasing. Yeah, good good transition there, Tom. Yeah, so like, but apart from that, it was it was good fun. Yeah, yeah, it was it plays well. It's just, it you know it's like I loved it as a kid. And I fucking adored it. And obviously, you would as a kid when you're playing it whilst Toy Story's out and stuff. Yeah. You want to get lost in the world. Yeah, you fucking yeah. love it. You know, all kids did. But the thing is, like, I still love it as an adult. Like, just... But, you know, bit of nostalgia goggles. I do admit that. Bit of, you know, it's a bit of that. But at the same time, it's it's one of those things. I, I can see it's not the greatest platformer. I can see it's not the prettiest platformer. I can see it's not the best produced platformer. But there is kind of just a kind of weird fucking charm about it. 
Do you know there what is, I mean? Yeah, there is. It, it's yeah. kind of jankiness and weirdness and oddness and frustrating nature at times can actually can make you quite fond of it. It's like it's like having a lover, right? Who you like? You can, no, 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 seriously. Or it's, similes, it's like, whatever the fuck they are. It's like having a girlfriend that like really fucking irritates you. She drives you fucking insane, right? You want to fucking cave her head in sometimes, but you love her. You just love her. You get it. Uh, that's not how I feel about my girlfriend, but it's how I feel about you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Adam's like, good analogy. <laughs> yeah, see? Uh, well done. Yeah. Um, so, where were we? No, no, I've, you completely yeah, yeah. derailed me. Oh, right. So, we're, we're on like, so then we get to level three, which is where yep. we are racing Buzz to the end. And it's kind of yeah. weird because he's doing uh, all these different poses. Yeah, so like and... Buzz is like on an infinite trampoline. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah, you're, you're trying to jump across these crazy like, platforms. You've got yeah. the yeah. Shark sharks coming, coming up. up uh, and... one, one thing which is good about um, the game, I'd say, is that the toys which are there as obstacles or enemies are all like... You've seen them in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, like, film. you've got Ham, you've got Muscle Man, you've got RC, mm-hmm. you've got the ball, the classic uh, Toy Story Bouncy ball. ball. Yeah. Like, yeah. Did you say yeah. the clown? The clown. The, the clown, the shark. The shark. shark. Yeah. yeah. All, all of this stuff. So it's, Woody, it's, it's, bars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, they're in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, it's good in that aspect. It's sticking. It's not just throwing random shit out yeah. there that you can't relate to. Yeah, yeah. no, they've they, they done that well. Also, yeah. it has that up, uh, the aspect of the platforming, which is the hook. The sort of grapple hook, lasso, so you can yeah. use it to attack enemies and you can use it to lasso, yes. which is quite good. Yeah, quite yeah like it's, that. It's, it's a nice little Simple, change up. Effective. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, level three, there's the race, and then, so you're like going along, and then Buzz is just jumping up doing his weird, like he's doing like the classic like Egyptian dance thing, yeah. and then like he might be sleeping at one point, and he's like swimming. And I think it's basically just to it's, get across that Buzz is better than Buzz you. Buzz is better than you. He's yeah. exactly. kind of trolling yeah, yeah. the whole time. Yeah, he is. He? Yeah. He's, just taking the piss. He's, a, he's, a, he's aware of his superiority. Mm. Yes, without yes. a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's bo- it? isn't it boss battle buzz then? Yeah, yeah, so then it's like this weird dream sequence where Woody So they do sleep. Oh, and that's the early question. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Well done. So yeah, this one, Woody has a sleep. <laughs> and, he has, <laughs> and he has a dream <laughs> that there's that. a giant buzz. And the thing that I loved about this, Buzz Buzz looked crap, to be fair. Yeah. Giant Buzz looked crap. It's the way he warns you before <laughs> yeah, he shoots. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, incoming. Or yeah, so watch out for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I think he just like, he, he pulls his arm and he goes, coming your way. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but then like, if, if you aiming a laser at me isn't suggestive enough. It's know? just, it's, it also the other way, it was like, obviously the, the like, um, the sprite they used for Buzz, mm. they only stick his arm out in like the 45 degree angle. But the laser doesn't always shoot at that's that, that angle. Yeah. So the laser like <laughs> flies off in a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. know, added a bit of a surprise since he's already telling <laughs> you where he's going to shoot. <laughs> yeah. so, like, exactly. It's not like an arrow comes yeah. out yeah. telling you where it's going to go as well. But yeah. Yeah. It, it might as well. Happen. But he only takes like four hits and then he's And then down. he's gone. And he's then he gives yeah. you loads of stars. Loads of stars. Which once Great. again, which, yeah. Which once again, though, it's one of those things Pointless. like it's it's, a, it's an empty victory. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? Uh, just throughout this game, uh, doesn't have a save state, so no. it's quite it's quite typical of old school platformers. It's a password system. Password. So after every level, you get a password at the top that will take you back to like where you are. With with what I'm guessing is the amount of lives you're meant to have. Yeah, and yeah. The amount of stars you collected. Blah blah yeah. blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you have your boss battle, and then is it onto the? It's onto the race, RC race, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, onto which, RC, which was hilarious. Which I I love for two fucking reasons. Number one, it reminds me a lot of Micro Machines. Great. Game. And if any of you guys watching or listening haven't played like the old school Micro Machines games, like on the PS One and stuff, just fucking do it. I think Mega Drive was my one. Really? That was that was the one when you had like the bathtub and you had the helicopters. I mean, it's probably yeah. all of them. But yeah, they they, they they kind of like kept them all like. Well, but the thing is, like, the, the SNES, they were fucking awesome. Like, and the one I had, which I loved the most, was on the PlayStation 1. It was Micro Machines V3. Yeah, yeah, Version I 3, that one, and it's yeah. fucking brilliant. But, like, if like anyone listening, watching, 
Hasn't played them. Fucking played. It's them. a great co-op game. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. It's, it's a it's a good one to get four people in the room and battle it out on micro. Yeah, I mean, like great if fun. you're in your like twenties, mid twenties, like us, uh, there's one solution to success, <laughs> and that's uh, drink micro machines. Yes, those are the two things you need to remember. Drink. Separate, no, separate things. <laughs> separate right. things. Yeah. Drink yeah. micro machines. What? Yeah. Separate yeah. things. Don't blend a copy of micro machines. No. <laughs> do not do that. No, don't. <laughs> because then when you do end up in hospital with police questioning you and you say, cash grab told me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're sending free men down. Yeah. And, then, and then you'll be doomed to have Dan Actually, do the show by himself. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so you. today we've got um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're not going we down did, with you because you told him to blend and drink. Yeah. It wasn't me. Machines. It was you. He misinterpreted what I said. He should go down. <laughs> misinterpreted. <laughs> what? Misinterpreted. Is that, is that not a word? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, you see, I'll, I'll, I'll plead stupidity. <laughs> ah, plead. muscle man. The yeah. muscle man one. Good. It works. Um, where were we? Uh, the RC, race. The RC, the RC race. race. Right, so, yeah. yeah, it reminds me of Micro Machines. Yeah, but... and then the second bit is buzz. <laughs> so, basically, yes. the point of this one is Woody is trying to hit buzz out the window with using RC. Yes. Uh, so so far, like, all the levels have followed the game except from the nightmare sequence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's doing a pretty good job of it. And mm. the race to an extent, I, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, that's, but that's it still kind of works. It, yeah. I, I mean, like, he does use RC in it's the, the film. same thing it's just as not. Uh, no, I mean the uh, race with Buzz, where he's doing. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. Like Sorry. Oh yeah. yeah I've, I've, but I thought I'd done quite a good job of Woody showing like of Woody's yeah. internal yeah. thoughts of yeah. like I'm not as good as this guy, and then like Fucking Buzz. Hell. Yeah, yeah I think it does is this really what I good sound like? Yeah, <laughs> damn, yeah. hard um, work, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So then, um, so basically, you, you're doing this little race course. It's quite hard because of control, but you kind of get used to it. Yeah. But you just see Buzz standing there, and you'd hit him, and he'd just fly off into the screen. Like so, you'd fly towards the screen, and then just disappear. Then you drive off again, and then he's there. Then you, you have hit to him collect again, the battery off. he gives off. Yeah, because otherwise you run out of battery. Yeah, or otherwise you run out of battery. So you need to hit him, collect his battery. But the way he the flies course. off is just brilliant. He kind of, he kind of just like it's one of those like they couldn't program in, like they had the animation of the somersault. So like, all right, we can do that. But then obviously they couldn't make him go super fast because he would like be like, and it wouldn't make sense. So they kind of just program the summer sort for, all right, just send it towards the screen. <laughs> so it's kind of a prolo- like an <laughs> agonizingly prolonged sequence where Buzz is just kind of like, <laughs> and like, <laughs> so, uh, And then number f- level four was then back to the platforming of the yeah. first level, but mm. now all the toys are against you. So like, yeah, I mean, that was, that was where we got to. Yeah. But it kind of feels like, is it going to repeat itself? Is it going to be platform, platform, boss, There's, race, yeah. platform, platform, I, boss, I, race? I think it is like three levels, boss, or like or like within those three levels, one of them is like a spin-off level, basically. Yeah, but yeah. three levels, boss, three levels, boss, three levels, boss, and then it's probably like the end of things, to be honest. But like... Yeah, it kind of does give you the impression it's gonna that repeat. there's going to be copy and paste. And yes. it's going to be the case, you know. I do remember, like, the Pizza Planet levels. And obviously, it's a different background. It's a different environment. But effectively, it is the same thing. It's the same thing again, You know, yeah. you can see it's just a total remodeling. But it's there. It's literally just, like, fresh look of paint, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is the same thing. And it's the same dynamic. And in many cases, like, I remember some of the same platforming, even. Some, sure. like like to Andy's bedroom, some of the same jumps, some of the same movements, the same obstacles. Yep. So there is a lot of copy and paste, especially as things go on. You'll notice it more and more and more. Yeah, it's mm. a bit of a shame, isn't it? Yeah, with, like I was saying earlier, you can see that bits of it kind of were done a bit slapdash. Mm. You know, you you do get the sense that things were done quick. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's it, really. That's where we got do to. We, do you have anything else to say about the game? Hang on. It played really nice. No, y- yeah. Um, I think I think that's it was it, to it be was honest. a bit. The like aiming the the uh, ring pull was a bit tough. Yeah. yeah. Um, like when you're jumping, trying to hit the bricks, you don't really know if you're going to throw it at an angle, throw it forwards, or you're going to jump forwards and then throw it at an angle and miss. Mm, mm. So I mean, like that took a while to get used to. Yeah, yeah, mm. totally, totally. But again, that just might be something you get used to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, like, yeah. It's it's one of those it's things from old games. Isn't it? yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, definitely. I mean, no, I think I think we've kind of covered everything with it, to be honest. It's a basic game, so in many ways you can't really step into it too yeah, much. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's only yeah. so much analysis you can take with it. Would we continue playing it, though? You know what? I, I think I would. Go on, Ed. Would. Ooh, same. Me too. 
Because I reckon you can complete this in like an hour and a half. Yeah. Mm. So I reckon you could just sit down, a couple of beers, complete it. Yeah. So I don't think you're going to like... It's, it's not, you're not going to pull Although the more out bills, it's not... the more beers you add to that equation, <laughs> yeah. your, your time of completion gets significantly it's, it's, further sorry, and yeah. further yeah. away. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's, like, it's not going to be like... I, I can't see it being like Aladdin where it just gets rock hard. Out of no, 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 no. It's it's challenging, but I think it's st- I think I think, it's, it's I think it plateaus. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. If we all carry on playing it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Nice. It's a good sign. It is, isn't it? Wait, what's next? Is it the cool wall? It's the cool wall. Oh. Da, 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 okay. Cool wall. This is going to be really difficult for me, okay? Because this is a kind of Spider-Man one situation for me again. Should we ruin yeah, it for right, again? Fuck yeah. off! Don't do that. So the top five are <laughs> Golden Eye for the N64. The Warriors for the PS2, Hercules for the PS1, Aladdin for the Mega Drive, and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the PlayStation 1. Yep. Yes. Yep. Bottom five. Uh, two, three, four, five. Right. Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, PlayStation 1. Funny that they're both on opposing ends. Yeah. Mm. Little Nicky, Game Boy Color. Back to the Future Part 1 on the NES, which we can't bring ourselves to play the second one of, lads. We need to do it at some oh. point. The Adam Show on episode a thousand or something. Yeah. <laughs> the Crow, PlayStation One. Yes. And Wayne's World for the SNES. So this came out in what nineteen ninety five? Yeah. Five. Yeah. It, right Have at the end of nineteen ninety five. Uh Street Fighter the movie came out in nineteen ninety five. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So what are some like ninety three we've got a few ninety threes, haven't we? So we've got Aladdin, which is ninety three. What's that one? There? That one? Jurassic yeah. Park. Oh, yeah. So we've got a few SNES games. We've got well, Jurassic Park. The thing is, I'll, I'll throw it out there now. I don't think it's as good as Jurassic Park. Ooh. Straight out there. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to throw it out there now. So I would put it below that. I don't know where yeah. that is. I'm, I'm finding it a bit hard to see. Oh, Moonwalker. Uh, I'd say it's a t- I've, You know what? I think I know where I'm putting it. I might put it in between Moonwalker and Jurassic Park, if I'm honest. You think so? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, I'm going to put it between Moonwalker and Jurassic Park. Go on, Ad. Uh, so what's that, number nine or number ten? It'd be the new number ten. You're going to make it new number ten. Yeah, that's that's my vote. I'm looking at Finding Nemo, and I'm thinking of the two games. And bear in mind, Finding Nemo's quite a while after, but mm. in terms of enjoyment to play on a similar level... I'd probably I'd probably stick it just above Find Nemo. So I'm going to stick it at above Find Nemo below Action Man. Exactly where I was going to put it. Democracy rules. That's what above Find Nemo below Action Man. So that'll be 12. It'll be new number 12. This yeah. happens a lot, Steph. All right, fair enough. Eh? Look, this happens a lot. Yeah, no, but I, I, I've i done the exact same thing. So I was looking, I was like, you know, Moonwalker is really good fun. Action Man, I've actually really enjoyed. I, I Action Man was what, a like, really good game. It was game. good. And then like, yeah, Find Nemo, I was like, no, it just doesn't. Yeah. It, it's fun, but like, it's the same kind of thing where like I'm not, yeah. I'm not actually thinking. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yes. Yeah. And then you look down the list of uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, it was a laugh, but yeah. Uh, and then and then it just turns into a shitstorm. The thing. So yeah. The yeah. thing is, like, I tell you what, I'll agree with the both of you actually, and I'll I'll say twelve as well because like you're looking for new like new number twelve. I was looking at new number ten. Nostalgia can easily put your two points ahead. Yeah, easily. So I'll take my nostalgia out of the question, and I'll admit I thought Action Man was fucking brilliant. So I'll agree with you. Number twelve, were you un- uh, unanimous? Cool, cool, sweet. All right. So, so the... we got the last column to fill. Is it a cash grab? Uh, yes, <laughs> I'd say so. You can elaborate. No. Okay. <laughs> no, oh, I will. Okay. Uh, I-, I will quickly. So basically. It's released at a similar time to film, which isn't the defining thing of why it's a cash grab, but it's sure. also it, it, the fact that it's tying in on the basis of time. And I think that Pixar knew they're onto something. I think anyone that was in development of this, that was in the production of this, or the advertisement of Toy Story at the time, knew that this was going to be big. Yeah, yeah anyone it, was, knew. it was always going to be a big deal. Yeah. It's quite clear that the game, in, com- in comparison, was done quite quickly, and the development process wasn't a big deal, you know. I think sure. this. I think like a lot was sketched over. A lot of the kind of subtleties of a game were totally missed out, and it was done quite slapdash. And I think, to be honest, to get a quick buck off the back of something, and with it being released just under a month, say, from the film, that's a good time to grab some cash. 
cash no, grabs. Mm. So See, I go. think <laughs> I think they've done quite a good job That's of good. like yeah. um, working that storyline into a game. Because mm. yeah. it's quite a difficult storyline yeah, 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 yeah. to, well. to keep it entertaining. Like switch it up enough that yeah, we were still having fun by level yeah. five or yeah. level four, whichever one we got to. Like we were still having a laugh, and it was still entertaining. Yes. and we'd all carry on playing it. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So they've done a good job of that side of it. And mm. like you said, they got all the characters in and all that. So it looked good. And, but yeah, when you look at what else they've done on the stairs, this it is, is it. like, it's lacking. Yeah. It's very much lacking. Exactly. You and look I can't at like, help, uh, it's just a quick turnover. Sort and of when you consider that the movie is made by a computer company, these, are, these aren't people like foreign to, to the idea of creating programs. And, yeah, and things very like true. That. So that, you know, You'd expect the quality to just be a little bit higher. Yeah. I, I imagine the sort of people that are making this movie, the sort uh, that are making the movie, the sort of people who play games. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, especially you'd, like this you'd time. expect so. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. They go hand in hand, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So you think you know it could have been a bit better. But if you look at the platformers on the SNES that were out, like um, Yoshi's Island, was that on the SNES? Super Mario Two or Yoshi's? Yeah, um, I think it was. I think it was Super well, look, Mario Two, look, Yoshi's Island, was it? Look at Super Super Mario Land. Super Mario Land, yeah. Or was it World? Oh, fuck knows all these different... Yeah, all I, right, think but... I still think it's Super Mario World. Yeah, so Su- Super Mario World, Aladdin, uh, Lion King. Like, Look at the Disney ones. Look at Aladdin, look at Lion King. They were fucking brilliant. Yeah, there's mm. Super Metroid. Me- yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, Super Mario World, yeah. yeah, yeah, Don- yeah. Donkey Kong. Yoshi's, Yoshi's Island, Island, same year, yeah. Uh, there's all these the great... The Castlevania games. Earthworm Jesus. Jim, that was class. Earthworm Jim was fantastic. Oh, bloody love Earthworm Jim. So that Super Ghouls and Ghosts. There's a lot of good platformers on there that look like, a, like prettier. Yeah, like they, look prettier, the fair, play like, better. Super, like Metroid is uh, it's like pixel art, isn't it, really? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's quite difficult Easy. to compare yeah, them yeah. to, really. But, true, um, true enough, true enough. But still, like you, you look at the quality of them and... Like all those games we just listed, it was side by was, side, and yeah, like people were still no like, like people were still going out and buying, like they just released uh, Samus, no Metroid Two: Return of Samus, whatever it was for the 3DS. Yeah, they did. Yeah, right, which is a remake of Metroid Two. Yeah, but uh, people were probably still buying like not Metroid Two because it's looked down upon. I think I'm not really sure why I haven't played it uh, mm-hmm. compared to Metroid One. Oh, um, but like people were still buying Metroid One. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Of course. Uh, mm. But I don't see anyone being like, oh, where's where's my copy of Toy, Toy Story? Story. Uh, yeah, you're right. I you're can't right. wait to buy Toy Story on my Switch. You're right. I bet you can. I bet, you, I bet you're <laughs> like... <laughs> it's on. First thing I'm going to do, I'm not, not playing any Mario Rabbids. I'm going straight into Toy Story on Switch. <laughs> you <laughs> no, bought that just... just so you can throw something out the window when you get frustrated with Toy Story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck you, Mario <laughs> Rabbids! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a cash grab, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. It's a good one, though. Once again, yeah, unanimous. Not, it not is. Bad. It is a good cash grab. It's we a solid fun. one. That's what matters. Yeah. That is what matters. And we hope you had fun, too. Hopefully. Watching us, us. No, don't let us know, because then if they're like, I had <laughs> a bad shit. time, your podcast is awful, we'll be like, oh, which we never ask people. <laughs> well, then we just respond know. with, how can we make it better? And they'd just get a nice response from the internet saying, kill yourself. Kill yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I know it's going to be that. <laughs> it's, it's always the way. It's always, it's always the way. <laughs> Fucking trolls. All right. Well, should we sign it off? Oh, I was about to do it then. Do what? Oh, I was <laughs> going to say it. It's going to make me edit another one, when he? Oh, fucking oh. hell. You nearly did a Dan. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Tom. Do the sign off. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are on YouTube, that is. And if you're on SoundCloud or iTunes listening, thank you very much as well. But be sure to check out our YouTube. Subscribe and follow on any platform you're on, or all of them, preferably. That would be good. Uh, we've got a Twitter at Cash, uh, cash Grab Podcast. And Instagram too. Cash Grab Podcast. Yes. And if you want to get in touch through email for some reason, you crazy person, then cashgrabpodcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Yeah. So get Let in us touch with us. Follow us. Watch us. Is there us. anything you want us to do? Yes. Is there yeah. some kind of cash grab on the Switch now that we can also add to the bloody repertoire? That mm. would be nice. Do it. That'd be cool. I can't think of anything, but I mean, I haven't really looked into games. No. Um, I can't think of one. We'll find out. We will find out. That's we'll a, a that's a cash grab promise. <laughs> that we might look. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Tom. Just backpedal a yeah. little bit there. Because yeah. <laughs> I will forget. As all soon guns as blazing room. comes yeah. to mind. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it all. <laughs> it doesn't exist, Tom. Shut up. <laughs> yeah.
But anyway, right. thanks a lot. And we'll catch you on the flippity flip. See you. Bye bye. Yeah.